Okay, got myself a new tool, Milwaukee M18 Feel. 2767-20 half inch high torque impact wrench. Two only. High impact. Uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, let's unbox this. So this is supposed to be just two, no battery, no charger. I got uh, enough batteries and enough charger, so just a tool is fine. Uh, stop and box. Or oh, maybe I should open this side, huh? Duh. Of course. Okay, here we go. Ta da! Here it comes. Alright, so there's a tool. Instruction, blah 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 blah. Milwaukee papers, blah blah. Holy crap, this thing is heavy. Wow, good, almost like 10 pounds or something. Hmm. Maybe I should put a battery in there. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, so there's a few power switches. This button switch the power mode. Speed one, two, three, and there's reverse. Uh, let's see, reverse. It's this one. Reverse mode, it will spin fast and then slow down after the nut is removed. Okay, Just squeeze it, the nut comes on. So, this one has how much torque? So, the high torque has up to 1400 foot pounds. 1400 foot pound to drive or loosen the nut. So, I guess uh, nut busting that would be to loosen. So, to tighten, probably what uh, a thousand, something like that. Hmm. Let's see. It's not stated here. Uh, it's probably in the paper somewhere. I'm not gonna look up. But the thing is, uh, this thing's heavy. Thing is a beast. Which 10, 20, more than 10 pounds with the with the battery. Well, yeah, I'm a weak guy, so if you're gonna be using it day in day out, you're gonna get strong muscles. Ah, Popeye. Well, I'm going to test it very soon to compare it to my baby, the Rockwell Compact uh, Impact Wrench. Very compact compared to that. Look at the difference. Holy crap. Huge size difference and huge weight difference. When I first got my rock, uh, the Rockwell, I thought that was heavy. Well, you know, compared to my uh, impact driver, the size of it is heavy. Which what? Uh, maybe five pounds. But it has a slim battery. It's a two amp hour battery. This one is five amp hour battery, but the tool itself feels it's like heavy already. It's not. Like 10 pounds, 20 pounds. Wow. Well, I'm gonna 
give it a test. See uh, the difference in power between these two. Well, it's, it's a no-brainer. That is going to be this 100% for sure. But it's just for fun. Gonna see it. Okay, I uh, just put this on the scale and just figure out the exact weight. This one's a uh, 3.2 pound for the rock rail compact. Uh, still, feels, feels heavy, but 3.2 pounds. Milwaukee, 7.8 pounds. So it's not a 15 or 20 pounds, but 7.8. Wow, feels heavy. Imagine you're doing it overhead. That should be heavy. Ah, good exercise. All right, so Milwaukee uh, Impact Wind doesn't come with any belt clips, huh? So, no clips. No clips at all. Nothing to hold on to. Ah, it's way too heavy to hold on to your belt. You'll pull your whole belt down. Uh, it's half inch anvil. It has a friction wing, so I just line it up and push it on. If I could line it up. Hey, hey. Come on, baby. You could line up. Can you line up? Yeah, there you go. Ah, too so heavy. It's falling over. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna test it out. Do some comparison. Okay, let's have some fun. Right, I want to see the difference of power between these three tools. One impact driver, a compact uh, impact wrench, and a high torque impact wrench. I'm gonna see them perform by driving these uh, knack screws to this wood. See, see if they're all successful or what. We know the result, but you know what? Just gonna have fun seeing it. So this is a 14 millimeter neck screw. It's a five inch long. Five inches, and this is a 19 millimeter neck screw that is five inch long. And lastly, the beast, 19 millimeter that's eight inch long. I know for this baby, that is not going to be possible and probably not possible for this one. This one should have no problem doing it. We'll see. Alright, let's assemble the wood. Okay, let's start with the two baby ones. The 14 millimeters. Okay, so. Well, the driver I'm going to be using is the DeWalt DCF895 with the uh, socket adapter on speed 3 batteries eh, 3 bars and I'm gonna use the rock Rockwell RK2855K2 half inch anvil Power level, power level three, and the batteries fully charged. All right, let's see which one is gonna win. You want lock well? Can you believe it? Dewalt actually wins first. Got in first, but maybe because the wood split, huh? But now the socket is stuck really hard, so okay, gotta get it out. Oh, socket came off. Yeah, it went deeper than the uh, the rock well. Alright, so that's uh, 14 millimeter. That's no problem. Let's go up to the next next one. 
Okay, so we might have a problem with this testing. See the wood split. So I might have to pre-drill the holes. Well, we're gonna do a uh, one more try with the uh, well 19 mil. That's probably just gonna kill the wood though. Huh. Yeah, is I was surprised that the what the impact driver killed the uh, impact wrench. Well, it's probably because the wood split. That's why. Let's see. The what? Lock well. Let's try again. Yeah, the wood probably gonna split also. That's a bust. So the rock well went through real fast, but it's probably because it went sideways. The walk didn't went sideways until the last minute. Mm. The wood start to split, so I think there will be a problem too. Might have to pre-drill the, the wood, huh? Uh, let's see if I have a drill bit that's long enough. Hmm. Okay, I pre-drilled two holes. Hopefully that's gonna prevent the wood from cracking. Let's try again. The wood still cracked like crazy. Can't really do this testing with the wood cracking, huh? Ugh. Oh, that's a bust. What a waste. Oh man, this is killing me. The wood spilling like that. Let's try different ones. I drew a bigger hole this time. Hopefully, it's not gonna split. Alright, the Dewalt and the Rockwell. 19 millimeter. Oh yeah, much better. The rock well was way faster than this one. But let's try something else. The big boy. I couldn't believe it though. The Dewalt actually drove it, drive it pretty much through. It could have drive it all the way down if I didn't stop it. And good thing is that the holes held up, they didn't crack. So I drew uh, two new holes. And let's use the Dewalt again. And the Rockwell. But this time. The two big boys to the uh, eight inch neck screws. Alright, you're gonna need some distance. You can't even see that thing. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's compare it to the uh, 
five inch, uh, that's eight inch. Damn thing. Let's have some fun. Do you walk? Hey, walk, walk. What? Do you Got it down first. Wow. Can't believe it. Impact driver outperforming a impact wrench. Holy crap. Alright. Oh man, this is killing me. The wood spoon I got. Let's try different ones. I drew a bigger hole this time. Hopefully it's not gonna split. Alright, the Dewalt and the Rockwell. 19 millimeter. Oh yeah, much better. The Rockwell was way faster than this one. But let's try something else. The big boy. Okay, I'm giving my uh, Dewalt a little break. Okay, it was uh, taking out the the knack the knack screw. I didn't want to drain out all the power for the uh, Rockwell. So, I'm gonna test the rock well. I guess the beast, Milwaukee high torque impact wrench. Uh, the Milwaukee high impact wrench is on power level 3. That's a high setting. Let's try it out. You see a huge difference. Wow, I'm surprised that Milwaukee slowed down quite a whole lot at the end. That difference is not that great. I won't be surprised if the walk could almost keep up with it. Oh, holy crap! Huh, let's take it off. Well, this is going to be a joke. If, oh, the bolts are hot, the bolts are hot, the bolts are hot, 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 hot. Okay, this will be a, a joke if a uh, Dewalt impact driver to keep up with the impact wrench. It is neck, uh, neck screw challenge. Well, the holes pre drill, but still, uh, it should be way faster. Here we go.
Okay, prove me wrong. Milwaukee wins. Oh, you went there real quick. Do you want, uh, it's gonna die off. The motor's gonna break if you keep going for that eight inch neck screw. Even though it's pre dropped, uh, the drill bit cannot reach further down. That's why the, on the bottom part, it's a little bit harder. Because the drill bit's not that long. It didn't drill all the way for the neck screw. Only three quarter probably for the screw. Right, let's see. Let me remove it. I don't want to touch it. Yeah, even yeah, it's about three quarter of the screw is being has a whole pre-drill for it. So that's why at the end it's a little bit harder because there's uh, no pre-drill hole. But still, yeah, this Milwaukee is good. Of course, what do you expect? This thing's heavy as hell. Yeah, well, this thing's not too bad, huh? Rockwell, impact wrench. However, I am uh, surprised that Dewalt actually kept up with this uh, Dewalt impact driver kept up with this impact wrench. Huh? Not too bad. Uh, Dewalt's very old too. Well, of course, for heavy duty. Go with the uh, high torque impact wrench. That's another kick. Another kick. Oh, yeah. That's a keeper. So, as I was cleaning up the tools, putting away the tools, I felt the Dewalt was that really, really hot. Uh, Rockwell's not that hot. It was like lukewarm. No problem. It's, you know, probably we could go a whole day. But Dewalt, uh, if I do maybe 10 more neck screws like that, it probably will burn up the tool. It's forcing itself. Is it's probably gonna get the job done, but it's gonna kill yourself trying it. The rock, the rock wheel, it should have no problem because it wasn't that hot. And of course, the Milwaukee high impact, high torque uh, impact wrench, it has no problem at all, zero problem. Of course, that's what it's meant for. It's huge, right? Heavier duty, but tiny little guy like this could almost do a job big guy like this could do. Oh, that's a stretch though. You, know, you could force it. So if you got like uh, one or two that you need to do, you don't have to run home to, to get that. You could use a small little guy, a impact driver to tighten down a uh, lag screw. And that's an eight inch, man. That's long. Just have to pre-drill the hole, huh? Otherwise the wood gonna spit like candy. Hmm, this candy split? Where else split? Oh well, anyway. Not too disappointed with the Watt. It surprised me. I thought this not gonna keep up with this at all. But it did. Not bad. But of course, the star of the saw, Milwaukee. 2767-20 impact wrench it has really high power. It's about you wait a whole lot though. You will pop Popeye arms after you finish using this for a few days. Popeye! The seller. Hi guys. <laughs>